Hello, I would like to tell you a story, and like all the good stories, they start with the same words. Oh, once upon a time. So once upon a time, there was this man who lived out on the bayous of Louisiana. Can you say bayous of Louisiana? This man lived out on the bayous of Louisiana, all by himself, miles and miles and miles away from the nearest neighbor. One day while he was out on his front porch of his shack, he lived in a shack on the bayous. One day while he was out chopping the wood for his gumbo, for the fire for the gumbo. And as he was chopping the wood for the fire for the gumbo, with an ax, he was chopping the wood. And as he was chopping the wood, there was a huge explosion which distracted him. And as he looked up, he saw the explosion and the axe fell down on his foot and chopped off his toes. <gasps> my toes, my toes, my toes is gone. His toes were off his foot. They had fallen into the water and were floating on the water and a huge alligator came up and swallowed his toes. <gasps> Sacre bleu, my toes is gone. Oh, coyon. Well, he was not one to feel sorry for himself. So he wrapped up his foot with a rag and paddled out in his skiff a small boat out to where the explosion was to see if he could be of assistance. As he got closer and closer, he noticed that it was a plane that had crashed and it was half on the trees and half on the water. And as he got closer and closer, he noticed that there was a person standing out on the wing of the plane. And as he got closer and closer, he noticed that that person was the most beautiful woman in the world. And as he got closer, he said, Madame, Madame, can I help you? And she said, Oui, oui, I am all alone. Thank you, Monsieur. And he invited her into his skiff. And as she got into the robot, she noticed his foot was bandaged. And she said, Monsieur, whatever did you do to your foot? And he said, Well, I was chopping the wood for the gumbo. And I noticed the explosion. It distracted me. And I, I chopped my toes off of my foot. And she said, Oh, that is too bad. Now I cannot fall in love with you and live happily ever after. Kessa, you break my heart, is what he thought. Well, he rode her back to his shack, and the gumbo was ready, and she said, Are you hungry? And she said, oh, Oui, oui, monsieur, thank you. And he fed her the gumbo, which was very good. C'est bon, very good. And he said, You can stay here. I am miles and miles and miles away from any neighbor. You can stay. I have two rooms in my shack. And you can have one room, I will have another. And that night after she fell asleep, he went out on the front porch and he said, Oh, if I could just have my toes back, I know this most beautiful woman would fall in love with me and we could live happily ever after. Day after day, he took care of her. And night after night, he went out on the front porch and said, Oh, if I could just have my toes back, I know this most beautiful woman would fall in love with me and we could live happily ever after. For she would not fall in love with him because he had no toes. Well, after one year, he went out on the front porch and he said, it has been a one year and every night I have said, please, please, please give me back my toes so this most beautiful woman could fall in love with me. I have been kind to her. I have been nice to her. I have been good man. Please, please, please. And he went to sleep in his own room. That night he was awakened by a loud rumbling noise. He went out on the front porch. <gasps> Sacre bleu, what is it? And he noticed a huge alligator was on his front porch. And he said, Monsieur Alligator, whatever are you doing on my front porch? And the alligator said, Hello, my name is Enter, and I have something for you. And Enter coughed up a big toe, and it went flying through the air and landed right on the man's foot. <gasps> Sacre bleu, my toes, my toes, my toes is back. Thank you, Monsieur Alligator. Alligator went into the water. The man went back to sleep with one toe on his foot. Oh, oh. He was happy. As he was sleeping, he heard another loud rumbling noise. He was awakened, went outside, and on the front porch was another alligator. He said, 
Monsieur Alligator, whatever are you doing on my front porch? And the alligator said, my name is Perrault and I have something for you. And Perrault coughed <laughs> and a toe came flying through the air and landed right on the man's foot. <gasps> Sacre bleu, matosis, matosis, matosis coming back. And he went to sleep. He was awakened again by a loud rumbling noise. He went out on the front porch and sure enough was another alligator. Monsieur Alligator, whatever are you doing on my front porch? And the alligator said, Hello, my name is Meta and I have something for you. And Meta coughed. <laughs> and out of Meta's mouth came another toe which flew to the end and then right on the man's foot. Sacre bleu, he said again. Matosis, matosis, matosis coming back. Now he had his toe, three toes, and he went to sleep thinking, oh, I'm getting all my toes back. Later that night, he was awakened again by a loud rumbling noise on the front porch. He went outside and sure enough was another alligator and he said, Monsieur Alligator, whatever are you doing on my front porch? And the alligator said, I am not a monsieur, I am a madame, and my name is Anna, and I have something for you. And Anna coughed. <laughs> and the toe went flying to the air and landed right on the man's foot. <gasps> Thank you, Anna. He went back to sleep, excited, knowing that maybe he would get all of his toes that night. He was awakened again by a loud rumbling noise. He went out on the front porch. And what did he see? Another big alligator. Monsieur Alligator, whatever are you doing in my front porch? Do you have something for me? And the alligator said, Monsieur, my name is Tello, and I have something for you. And Tello coughed up another toe, right on the man's foot. Sacre bleu. I have my toes, my toes is coming back. The man went to sleep, and sure enough, he was awakened again as soon as he fell asleep. Another loud rumbling noise. The man went outside, another alligator is on his front porch, and he said, Monsieur Alligator, do you have something for me? And the alligator said, Oui, oui, Monsieur, I have something for you. My name is Sato. <coughs> and Sato coughed up another toe, which landed right on the man's other foot. <gasps> Sacre bleu, I have six toes, my toes, my toes, my toes is coming back. He went to sleep that night and had a crazy dream that he was not just had six toes, not just ten toes, but he had thousands of toes on his feet. When he woke up in the morning, whew, he thought he would dream the whole thing. But he looked and he had many, many toes on his feet. Too many toes to count. He could not believe it. That morning he could not get out of bed. He was too afraid to think what the woman might say. And so he stayed in bed. And as time went by, she knocked on his door and said, Monsieur, Monsieur, you've always been up before me and have made me breakfast and have been so kind. Where are you this morning? Are you okay? And he said, Oh, Madame, I am feeling quite under the weather. I will be out in a bit. Thank you. A few minutes went by and she knocked on the door again. Monsieur, 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 are you okay? You've been so kind to me. Are you okay? I can take care of you this time. And he said, oh, madame, I am not feeling too, too quite right right now. I do not know if I can get out of bed. And she said, oh, monsieur, I am going to come to check on you. And he said, no, 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 no. I will be there in a bit. A few more minutes go by. She came knocking on his door. Monsieur, monsieur, I must come in and see what is wrong. And she came in and she saw his feet and all the toes. And she said, monsieur, what? And he said, I know, oui, oui, it's true. My toes is, my toes is, my toes is back. And she said, oh, monsieur. And she kissed every one of his toes and said, now I can fall in love with you and we can live happily ever after. The end. <laughs>